Hello YouTube, this is Dawn from Double D Homestead. And today I want to share with you a recipe out of the old green cookbook. And it's cinnamon bread. And you'll need two cups of flour, one cup of sugar, four teaspoons of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a one and a half teaspoon or one and a quarter teaspoon of salt, one cup of buttermilk, I have the powdery equivalent, and a cup of water. That's what the directions are to mix these in a baking mix. You mix the powdered milk with the dry ingredients. A third cup of oil, which I forgot. No, there it is. Two teaspoons of vanilla and two eggs. For the strudel, you need two tablespoons of sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and two teaspoons of butter or margarine. And you basically mix the dry ingredients first and then you add the wet, and we'll go from there. Oh, and this recipe is by Martha Cooper. Thank you, Miss Martha. So, the oh, first thing I'm gonna do is get all my dry ingredients in here, and I'm gonna sift them. Just sift them all together so they're all nice and mixed. When I go in, my eggs are running away. <laughs> I had one tiny little egg and I had a giant egg, so I thought, eh, there's two eggs. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this sifted together. Just like this. And I'm gonna do this until I got it all sifted together. And then we'll add the wet ingredients and I'm gonna bring you closer. And there it is all, all right, mixed up. Got it all mixed up good. And the next step is just to get it in the pans. And I'm gonna do a cup at a time in each one, so that, hopefully my loaves are kinda even. <laughs> I don't like having a little loaf and a big loaf. I'm gonna do it this way. And then we're going to mix up the strudel. We're gonna swirl that in. And I'll show you what that looks Alrighty, like. Alrighty, here's our streusel stuff, and I'm just gonna get this mixed up real quick and spill it all over the counter, of course. <laughs> It'd be cooking if I wasn't spilling something. So, this is all you gotta do right here, is just combine this real well. And this butter is nice and soft at room temperature, not melted. And let me get that mixed up. And there it is all mixed together. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put half on this one and half on the other loaf, and I'm just gonna bust it up like this. Make sure you can see the little clumps all over the place. And spread it out just like so. And it says to swirl it, so I don't know if it'd do much good, but I'll give it a swirl just like so. And that's it, it goes in the oven at 350 for 40 to 45 minutes. I'll bring you back. Oh, it's done. Look y'all, look y'all. It's done. It took about 35 minutes in my oven. And uh, I wanna say thank you to all my new subscribers and thank you to everyone that comes back every day and those that leave comments and give me encouragement. Thank you all so much. I love you all for it. And uh, hope you enjoyed this recipe. <laughs> so you all take care and God bless you.